Okay, today is the day Theta Mainnet 3.0 has been released. It was an hour or two late, but to be expected, it's technology. So in this video today, what I'm going to do is go through how you can stake your T-Fuel on the Theta Edge uh, workers app, actually, the, the Edge node. Uh, it looks like they're still calling it beta, um, but we will see. So what you're going to want to do um, you know, you're going to need to have your wallet because that's where you're going to be staking the summary. And I will show you how to grab that summary. Now, because the way things have happened, uh, the majority of my Macs are M1 based chips. I'm going to show you how to get your summary, but it's going to be from a Windows 10, um, application error OS running on my Mac mini that's an M1. I know, weird, weird way to set things up. But that's how I'm doing it on my M1 uh, Macs right now until they come out with a compatible version. The I'm running Parallels. Uh, I'm running a, uh, a test um, or an evaluation of Parallels and I will probably buy at least one just to do some other testing. I usually use um, Oracle's uh, VirtualBox. VirtualBox does not support the M1 chip, which is an ARM-based chip, and let's not get into that. But what you need to do is you need to download and install the Theta Edge Worker, and you can find that by visiting their website, thetatoken.org, scroll down, you will see Theta Guardian node. You don't need to run one of those. All you need to do is install one of the Theta Edge nodes, either Windows, Mac, or Linux. I'm going to be working on Linux later on. Have not done that yet, just haven't had the time. So one of these Windows or Mac. Mac you can use if you're using an Intel-based chip. Otherwise, you're going to have to wait a little bit. So after that's downloaded, installed, you will get what looks exactly like this. You'll get a uh, the Theta Edge worker. You will take a little, it'll take a little bit of time to um, populate the wallet address, but this is the wallet address that you're going to need to show up here um, because we're going to click on stake T-Fuel and it's going to give us the summary. So what you can see right now is short of the uh, shortcut to the um, your wallet address, the number of T fuel staked is zero. Bill balance, those kind of things just aren't there yet because nothing is staked. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on stake T fuel, and you'll see this summary. It's very similar to the summary when you are staking your uh, your theta. So what we need to do is go ahead and copy this. And then come back. We need to log into your Theta wallet. Click on Ledger. I'm, of course, using hardware wallet. Why not? That's the best, most secure. I'm also using Firefox because there are issues with Chromium based um, accessing your Ledger. We're going to go into my address and some of this I am going to hide because I just don't want you to know all the T-Fuel I have. So I have already staked. Well, I'll just walk through this. Your wallet address is up here. This is my amount of theta. This is the amount of my T-Fuel and the wallet you should recognize. We're going to go to stakes and right now I have on an elite node I have 500,000 T fuel already staked. What I'm going to do is now stake against the application. Oh, crazy. Against the application that's running on this computer. So I took the summary. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to say deposit stake. Now, this is where you have a selection. Um, validator node, no one here is going to be using the validator node. Guardian node, um, 
you're just not going to stay away from those. Um, other video for that, use gpool. Um, I'd suggest you're going to use gpool if you don't have a, um, a computer to run this edge node uh, worker software application that needs to stay up 24 seven. Otherwise, you're not going to get uh, good returns. I will do a video on gpool, but they are currently not available to uh, stake against. They are getting things together unless it's going to change right the second. Nope, they're still coming soon. So I'll, when they have that up, I'll do another video on that. But right now we're going to select the edge node, deposit stake to your edge node. So click on that, say continue. We're going to use the T fuel, the summary. We're just going to paste right in there. I'm going to say entire balance which is going to be my maximum of 500,000. And I'm going to say deposit stake. I'm going to confirm the stake, um, but I have to make sure that I'm in my ledger using the Ethereum app. This is not an ERC20, it's not an Ethereum um, coin, but they use the Ethereum app to generate the wallet addresses and I wish they would have had their own app. It's made it really confusing for a lot of people out there, but they do what they do. So we're going to say confirm deposit. You will see on the ledger, it'll say review transaction, data present, Ethereum zero. The addresses are all zero, zero, zero because it's not the true Ethereum blockchain. Chain ID zero, maximum fee zero, accept and send. So I'm gonna go ahead and accept and send. It's going to go through the process. And my transaction is being processed. So it will take just a little bit of time and then another line item will show here. If you don't have half a million T fuel to, yeah, there we go, um, to stake, then what you can do is stake as much as you can, um, you know, the, the more the merrier and we'll see what kind of returns we have on here but if I had you know many more millions um, than this then I could just add to it at 500,000 uh, T fuel increments until I have it all staked remember it takes about 60 hours to have it unstaked I don't know what the returns are right now we will see uh, all in good time and let's just see on the application itself that's running on the computer. We're going to close that. Right now it does not see that there is something staked. Um, let's click through. You can set the cache compute so that you can earn extra. But right now it does not see that stake and we'll see how long it might take for that to show up. Um, let's go up here. I'm going to do power mode as full. I'm going to restart it. Oh, there, my stake showed up as 500,000. So if you have a computer that you can earn the extra where you're doing the um, edge cache, yeah, wonderful. Um, let me restart. Oh, there we go, it's on its own. Um, like I was saying, the edge cache, you can turn that on. Edge compute, you can turn that on. We'll see how the jobs come in. As you can see, when you start up, it'll fetch the wallet address. I don't know how they distribute that. Uh, that's they're doing, but it did show that there was 500,000 staked and back to the, uh, the wallet. Um, that's really it right now. And when gpool does come online, it's going to be a very similar thing. You're going to go in there. Uh, D did a video that uh, showed kind of what was going on behind their scene. And you're going to um, choose a uh, basically one of their nodes, one of their edge workers that they set up on the back end running Linux, um, a headless Linux. And you would stake it um, all there. You would take the summary and, um, and take it to your wallet just like we did here. So your 
staking would happen on gpool servers they will issue you a summary and then you'll take that summary and deposit it just like the other one using the edge node right there so that's it it's pretty straightforward easy and thanks a lot